This is an excerpt from Minjun's point of view, Seo's little brother, uh, and it's an excerpt in which he catches his brother coming back from a night out. Um, and you'll see there's a bit of conflict they discuss uh, Minjun's been on Seo's phone. The house was eerie and quiet. He brushed his teeth in the echoing silence. As he was in the bathroom, he heard steps in the entrance and water running from the kitchen tap. Feeling brave, Minjin tiptoed up to the bathroom door. He glanced through the half-open crack. He couldn't see anything, so he pushed the door open a bit more. That was a mistake. Seo heard the creak. What are you doing up this early? he asked. Minjin shuffled into the kitchen. Seo was standing beside the sink, wearing jeans and a t-shirt Minjin had never seen before. A black, flimsy jacket hung loosely across his shoulders. This wasn't the kind of clothing Seo would wear to train, or to go to an interview, or to see Sunil. The splash of running water had woken up Cosmos, who was stretching his grey wings. Cosmos is the pet parrot. I needed the bathroom, lied Minjin. He walked closer. When he went around the counter, he smelt the alcohol on Seo. He stopped in his tracks. There was an awkward gap, because they both knew this was weird. But Minjin wasn't sure how to ask, and Seo didn't want to answer anyway. Did you use my phone recently? asked Seo. He didn't ask it in the maybe you did, maybe not voice. He asked it in the you definitely did voice. Minjin nodded. You do realise that if I change the password, that means I don't want you on my mobile, right? Minjin didn't say anything. There was nothing to say. And thanks for texting for what? An hour? More? Pretending to be me? Were you with him just now? asked Minjin. Seo glared. That was the wrong question. But it, was all, but it also was, Minjin confusedly felt, the right question. Because what Minjin had done wasn't okay, but he was sure what Seo was doing wasn't okay either, otherwise he wouldn't hide it. Cosmos jumped off his perch and scratched across the tiles on the counter, looking for crumbs. Seo leaned backwards, arms crossed, the white of his wrists shining against the black of his jacket. He was wearing a bracelet, a knotted leather bracelet. Minjin stared. Seo noticed and brushed the sleeve of his jacket over it. He sighed and said, whatever, we might as well make breakfast. He turned on the coffee machine, putting little capsules in it to make an espresso. They didn't speak much, and they didn't eat much. Minjin had some cereal, which she went and ate on the sofa with Cosmos. He picked cornflakes out of the bag to hand them over to the bird. When he'd finished his coffee, Seo came to sit next to Minjin. He put out his hand so Cosmos could climb onto it. Cosmos immediately perched on him, and Seo lifted him up. Cosmos immediately perched on him, and Seo lifted him up to his head. Cosmos crawled his way from the hand to the top of Seo's skull and stood there, ruffling his feathers. He started preening himself. Seo caught Minjin's glance and said, Shut up, Minjin. But I wasn't saying anything, said Minjin. Shut up, Minjin. Seo was smiling. Cosmos didn't like Seo moving too fast, and he spread out his wings before folding them again. He opened his beak and said, Andrew, Andrew, which was how he said Minjin. See, Cosmos agrees, said Seo. It's not funny. Say shut up, Minjin, Cosmos. Come on. Cosmos went on saying, Andrew, Andrew, and Minjin shoved his brother away. When Seo moved, Cosmos hung onto his scalp with his claws, making him flinch. Okay, bad idea, Seo admitted, lifting his arm again for Cosmos to climb onto. But Cosmos didn't want to move, and then he started trying to groom Seo's hair, which he sometimes did, but which really hurt because his beak tore out the hair instead of preening it. Cringing because of the pain, but not wanting to upset the bird, Seo managed to convince Cosmos to come off his head and onto his hand. Go on, go do that to Minjin instead. He lifted the parrot towards Minjin's hair, and Minjin jumped back, shrieking but laughing a bit too, and Cosmos grew tired of these two noisy humans, so he climbed off Seo's hands and walked away across the carpet, back to his cage. They watched him climb up the boughs and onto his perch, where he started preening himself again. After a silence, Minjin said, I couldn't sleep. Seo didn't answer, but he pulled Minjin into a hug.